Swiss inverted roller coaster, built by Swiss manufacturer Volitor and Maviard. This is located at Kings Island in Mason, Ohio. It is considered one to be the better operating VM inverts of the world. In this episode of Ranking the Elements, we will be ranking Banshee's elements. Let's get started. Coming in in last place, we have the second loop. I just find this element to be kind of forceless doesn't really do much. Not the loop that's around the lift till the other one. Um, I just don't find it to do very much. It pulls some positives, but not that much. Coming in in sixth place, we have the dive loop. I do enjoy this element, but it places this low. That's just how good the elements on Banshee really are. They are, all of the elements are really good. So the dive loop has to linger down in the lower tier. Coming in in fifth place is the zero G roll. Right after the, right after the train goes over the loop on the lift hill, it goes through a zero G roll that is very whippy in the back row. This is among one of the one of a very good element on a roller coaster. This Kings Island could not possibly have a better element on their invert. Coming in, but it only ranks at number five because of how good the elements are. Coming in at number four, we have the first loop. This is the one that goes around the lift hill. I just find this, this element is really good. It pulls some really good positives. And the lift hill um, through going through the loop gives a great visually appearing touch. Moving on. Coming in in third place, we have the inline twist. So right after the second loop, the train will twist up and go through this really slow inversion, which gives really good hang time. And then a helix into the brakes. That that last inversion is really good. It's a really good way to end out a really good roller coaster. Coming in in second place, we have the pretzel knot. This is basically a dive loop followed by an Immelman. This is the only one operating in the world. The, the only other one featured on the defunct Moonsault Scramble at Fuji Q Highland in Japan. This is the only operating one, though. This element pulls really good forces in the valley, and the Immelman and Dive Loop combination is really good. I really hope people build more of these, because they're really good. Coming in the first place, we have the first drop. This drop in the back row is whippy. It is insanely whippy. I... And it's really fun. It pulls some great positives. The only con about this is there is a terrible rattle at the bottom of it. But I can excuse that for the amazingly whippy drop. That's going to do it for this episode of Ranking the Elements. Keep riding coasters. Subscribe. I'll see you later.